Welcome to the Thought of the Day podcast. For many years, I've published a daily Thought of the Day. I've shared this Thought of the Day with friends, students, and fellow educators. My intent with the publication was to encourage my peers and my students to reflect on the words and derive their own meaning from the quotation. Hopefully, this message will add value to your day. If we make a positive impact on you today, please consider sharing this message with a friend or co-worker. The thought of the day. We can complain because rose bushes have thorns, or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. Abraham Lincoln. I choose to rejoice. I choose to see the glass half full. I choose to celebrate what the kids in our school can do rather than punish them for the skills they do not yet have. In every challenge, there is an opportunity. With every failure, there can be growth. Building a student-centered school climate requires the adults of the school to possess an optimistic mindset. We need to believe in the kids. We need to see the beauty of their bloom rather than the danger of their thorn. Several weeks ago, I was told that some new students to our district were bad kids, and that those kids, we would have nothing but trouble. Philosophically, I oppose this statement. To hear an adult tell me that these children were nothing but trouble made my skin crawl and my blood boil. Not too many years ago, I would have been very clear with my disdain for their words. Not too many years before that, I would have thrown them out of the building. People don't like to be told when they're wrong. So, I redirected the conversation towards the positive things our faculty and our staff could do to help these kids become successful. The kids came to us with a long list of discipline referrals. One of the kids was fresh off of a school suspension. But they were not bad kids. They were some kids who needed to learn some skills and needed someone to believe in them and someone to expect them to be good kids. So far, these kids have been successful this year. They are learning, they are growing, they are meeting and usually exceeding expectations. Are they perfect? Not hardly. But they are certainly not bad kids. So how do we do it? We find and we build on a student's strengths. We see kids in their full color. We make our expectations crystal clear. We teach the kids the skills they need to meet our expectations. And we work to see the rose in the thorns rather than the thorn in the roses. Thank you for spending just a few minutes with us today. If you found value in the time we have spent together, please leave a positive review wherever you listen to this podcast. You can join my professional learning network on Twitter at Nick underscore Schumacher or subscribe directly on my website www.nickschumacher.org. We would greatly appreciate your sharing of this content on your favorite social media platform. Remember, in life and leadership, if you want excellence, you need to communicate the vision, teach the skills, and expect the very best.